is a EC-135. It is twin engine, so that's a safety feature in of itself. It also has a weather radar in the um, cockpit where the pilot sits, and that enables us to be able to tell where the storms are and how to, how to avoid those as well. It also has something that shows us where the lightning strikes are so that we can tell if the storm or the cloud coverage that we see actually has production of lightning with it. The other thing that it has is it's got something that um, allows us to see towers, other air traffic that we may not have seen because of uh, cloud coverage or anything else that was going on with us. So the features in the front of the aircraft are actually all geared towards a safe flight. So when you look at the type calls that we do, our staff are both proficient as well as our pilots at landing on the side of the road, in the field, on the interstate, things like that, to pick up patients that have been in accidents or patients that have MIs or strokes that are called from the scene. So this patient may have started out at their home and the EMS has recognized that they're having an event that requires them to be at a larger facility quickly and so we can land there. But a large portion of the calls that we do are inter-facility transfers which means that we go to that smaller hospital and we pick that patient up, we assist that crew because you've got a nurse, a physician, a respiratory therapist that are already doing a wonderful job in that smaller hospital but they've gone to the extent that they can with this patient. Obviously helicopters have made a big difference when they're used appropriately and also because a helicopter has critical care capabilities they're in a very safe monitored environment unlike say in the back of a BLS transport. We live in the low country where oftentimes you can't get even though the distance may not be far but if a bridge is out or the weather is bad and the roads are flooded sometimes it's the only means for transporting a patient. So if you look at neonatal emergencies, stroke, trauma, it really has been able to open up critical care to a broad range of patients who need specialized services. We really work on being community-based. So we work on helping the community out. We were working on being there for the community. One of the people that I used to work for always had the phrase that we were in the business of family reunions. And that really holds true for any air medical helicopter that you have in your community because what our goal is, is to help some patient somewhere get where they need to be and do it in a um, very qualified critical care setting at the same time. So what I hope that we bring to this community is that we bring another person at a family reunion. <laughs>